Grab your binoculars, we'll be looking at the Browse tool in this video. The Browse tool displays all data from a connected tool, as well as data profiler, maps, reporting snippets, as well as behavior analysis information. To get started, let's connect the Browse tool to the output anchor of the tools we want to explore. We can do this several ways in Alteryx. Drag and drop from our favorites, right click on the tool that has an output anchor, and select Add Browse After. Use the Insert After option. But the method I want you to remember is the hotkey combo, Control shift b Pressing these keys will insert a browse tool to all selected tools output anchors. Now that we have connected the tool, let's run our workflow using another shortcut, Control r After running the flow, we'll have a couple things to explore using browse. First, we'll see that our results window displays all of our data. Without the browse tool, the results window displays only up to a meg of data from a tool. Next, let's look at our configuration window, where we'll find the data profiler. This helps users better understand the quality of their data at any point within the workflow. In it, we'll find charts and metrics relating to fields in our data. By selecting a specific field or cell in our results window, we'll see the data profile change to display charts and metrics about the quality of the data within that field. Notice, we're seeing different charts based on the different data types in the selected field. We should keep in mind that each browse in a workflow will require temp space and physical memory to visualize its results. While this can cause your workflow to slow down sometimes, you can address this quickly by disabling browse tools in your workflow's configuration window. To do that, let's click on the canvas to display it, select runtime in the configuration window, and then finally disable all browse tools. So that's how you get started with the tool you use in almost any workflow that you'll create in Alteryx, the browse tool. Thanks for watching. You can find out more about this tool's capabilities in the Alteryx tool documentation, which can be found in the description section of this video. Keep up with the latest Data Coach videos by hitting that subscribe button. And if you have an Alteryx tool or macro you want to see included in the 2-Minute Tool Collection, give us a shout on Twitter at AskTessalation, or tweet at me at Nick612Hayland. Until next time, your Data Coach and Alteryx ace, Nick Hayland.